Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Hi, this is Kyle with HCAN, and today we are going to be doing a circuit with two diodes. Uh, for this circuit, we are going to find the current going along this, uh, I guess, the channel. Uh, this is interesting because we have two separate diodes that are going to be feeding into this uh, wire, that's the term. Uh, so this going to make things a little bit more complicated. And so for this, we're really going to want to use Kirchhoff's voltage law. It's going to be our best friend. Because we can see here, we have two loops. And Kirchhoff's voltage law states that for any given loop, the voltages have to equal to zero. So we'll start off with this loop, loop one. So it's going to be 20 volts, which is our voltage source, minus our diodes. Our two diodes, we're assuming, are silicon. And we know that for the voltage drop across a diode for silicon is equal to 0 0.7 volts. So 20 minus 0 0.7 volts, and that should equal 19.3 volts. OK, now that we have that, to find the current I through diode, let's say this is diode 1 and diode 2. ID of 1 is simply equal to, through Ohm's law, 19.3 volts divided by our resistance here, which is 20 ohms. That's going to give us an amperage of 0 0.965 amps. All right. So that's the first diode, we got that down. Now we're going to want to move to the second diode and we're just going to treat the whole thing effectively ignoring this for this loop and same principle is going to apply. We got 20 volts and we got that 0 0.7 again and we're going to get 19.3 volts. ID2. Now we have a 10 ohm resistor. So 19.3 divided by 10 ohms. And that's going to give us 1.93 amps. All right, now to find the total current, we're going to look at some directions here. We know that the, uh, the diode, the voltage drop, is going from positive, oh, yeah, positive to negative. So what's happening is that the, volt, the current is flowing this way. So it would be negative to positive. Right? Yeah, negative to positive. No, I keep writing positive, sorry. Negative to positive, negative to positive. All right, so we're going to have current flowing this way, current flowing this way. They're going to be added together. 1.93 amps plus 0 0.965 amps. And that's going to equal out to a uh, current equal to... 2.895 amps. And that's going to be our total current going through this particular wire on the circuit. And that finishes our problem. Uh, if you'd like to see more Circuits 2 problems or anything else electrical related, go ahead and check out our channel for videos.